welcome to today's discussion on brain shame in toxicity testing in recent years scientists have been exploring new and innovative methods for preclinical toxicity screening one such method that has gained popularity is using brain shame also known as artemis selena as a quick and cost effective model for evaluating potential toxicity in chemicals and compounds in this video we will explore why brain shame have become a popular tool in preclinical toxicity testing and how they can be used to identify potential risk to human health so let's begin the discussion brain shrimp are small crustaceans that have similar metabolic process to higher organisms making them a good indicator of potential toxicity in humans the brain shrimp lethality test is a common method used to evaluate toxicity in shrimp in this test a sample of a compound being tested is added to a solution containing brine shrimp larvae the number of surviving larvae is then counted after a specific period if the compound is toxic it will kill a significant number of larvae indicating potential toxicity in humans the bslt is a quick and cost effective method that has gained popularity in recent years although it has limitations it has been shown to be effective in identifying potential toxicity in various compounds brine shrimp are just one of many alternatives to traditional animal models for preclinical toxicity testing as the field of toxicity testing continues to evolve we can expect more innovative models and approaches to emerge thanks for watching and i hope you have found this video informative